Siege of the Surge for Childish Dominion, live and direct, and Makanda, formerly the colonial Gramstown, we've witnessed amazing artists. One of the amazing artists that we've witnessed is an MC who I think needs no introduction, but maybe, perhaps, <laughs> some of the audience here too will need a brief introduction. I want to just do a little bit, I think, I think. If you talk about Cape Town, Hip hop, Cape Town rap. If you talk about an MC who's been able to elevate the standard of what it means to decolonialize your rap, to take it outside of the context of America and to bring it to Imbalize, to, to bring it to our own relative stories, whether ancient or contemporary. This is the MC. A lot of people know him as Undu Lamti. That's what he goes by. This is an MC whose narratives and whose songwriting have gripped many of people. I'm going to give it to the man himself to give a little bit extra. If you post left, I am. What would you, how would you put yourself out there? How would you describe <laughs> yourself? Um, Tim Kulu. Yeah, I know, fam. It's, 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 it's 90%. It's ninety percent. I would just add up to ten to save it off, sure. and probably two extra. You know. Okay. Yeah, I know. Good to learn. Two years ago, I was a guy. You know, mm-hmm. hailing from Cape Town. You know, in Yanga East, in Mukoros. You know, the last flow band I put out. That I got to the wise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I appreciate. We. My, it's actually my first time to understand. Yeah. And it has been a lifelong dream. You know, it's something that I've always wanted to do. I've seen it happen. Spontaneously, that I was told on Wednesday that I can't come in and yeah. in perform. So I'm still, you know, I'm still ecstatic. Uh, of the energy, energy. Yeah. Yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and you know, um, sharing stage with people that uh, that have shared stages, you know, mm-hmm. with uh, for the past, and being amongst people that I've been, you know, blessed to have in my life. Sure, you know, they are all sure. Eastern Cape, as a person that is born and bred in Cape Town, I'm actually born and bred in Cape Town. Sure. So it's a, it's a, it's a space where that is sacred. It's like America to me. Yes. Because that's where my parents hail from. Mm. You know, that I was in Czech. Mm. Only to not send it. It's actually his farmer by the day. Mm. So, uh, growing up in Cape Town, this has always been, you know, coming here is like the things that I've been doing with my parents. Mm. Get us a bit cooler. So, it's like a pilgrimage. You know, yeah. that, that's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. Respect. I think one of the questions I've always wanted to ask you, and I'm sure a lot of your fans, supporters, is what connection, or rather, Mandibu is a watchdog, but what does that mean to you? What does hip hop mean to me? Mm-hmm. You know, because I don't want to seclude the, the, the word hip hop because mm-hmm. I always embrace hip hop. Hip hop, I think. The structure is very less than sure. Because it comprises band, suka suka by suka by dance. Okay, you know, suka ba, you know, like I've 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 tried in 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 arts. Mm. I've tried drawing everything. So mm. hip hop, I think it comprises everything because the elements, elements are under the right. word hip hop. You know, right? You know, writing and poetry, rap is there as well. Mm. So it, it it's my life, man. You know, I'm. Um, Turning forty this year, you know? mm. I'm turning forty this year. Right, you know. Master. So, um, I've been doing this for probably twenty two years, you know? mm. and it has like nabando na bamba kula beers ba uta uta like nanzu ya chanda. Sure, you know. I'm working like abanya abando. There's nothing. There's nothing special about me. It's not like I'm dedicating my life to hip hop, you know. But it has something that has shaped me from. From partly the background to the environment that I that I was I, I was born into, sure. it has been my salvation. Sure. You know, it's fun and cow. It's something that I cannot. Um, I include it. When I'm when I'm in Mabuyo, they have to know that this is a person that hails from a hip hop movement. You know, because this is a movement on its own. So, home it's part of it's part and parcel of my lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um. Uncle Lamji, you've, you've come a long way as an artist. Um, we're in an era right now where it seems as if commercially, um, there's always an emphasis on club music, on, uh, rhythmic, formulaic choruses. 
um, underground also a lot of people are going through you could call it somewhat of an identity crisis about you trying to find out about what kind of music is relevant to make in today's society where do they fit in so where do you think you fit in as a rapper as a lyricist as a hip hop practitioner in today's climate what is your role um my role who is perceived like for where do I fit in like he, who listens to me that's that's the, that's the most important sure. thing. Yeah. Who listens to me mm. when I'm when I'm on stage? Mm. You know, uh, I I still I, I I still see myself as an as an immature artist, like artist that 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 that, that still fits within many more categories. Sure. Not someone that has to be the 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 the, 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 the main act, the main act of the of the show. Yeah. Because I I I, I it, it is it, it it is something that I feel bound to the way to Tina has been. He has been marginalized into a position whereby we, as now we can't dream big now, yeah. you know. Um, and I think we are the continuation of the, the music that helped that helped the the now up into power, because with the music that lets people listen yeah. other than dance yeah. to it, yeah. you understand. Mm-hmm. So we we we, we are not in, like we can we, we can't dream not big. escapism. Yeah, we can't dream big. Than, sure. than, than, than just put ourselves in a position where but what matters is, is who listens to me. Sure. You know, I still post that even Black Coffee took time out of his busy schedule to listen to me. Sure. You know, yeah. like, oh, oh, Malinga. Sure. Yeah. Tam, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm for yeah, the team. Yeah, out of Malinga. Yeah, out of Malinga, the guy that's that's our generation. Yeah. You know, sure. Like, oh, Nancy Baole, oh, oh, the wait. Mm. You understand? People that, have a following that needs to set, to maintain a certain standard, but those people don't want, don't don't mind saying I. This um, Uncle Lamdi is my favorite artist. You yeah, he's one of the best artists that I can listen to. Yeah, you yeah. understand. So it's what it's who listens to me. Sure. What matters the most for me? It, I love who that. I love that too because um, just on our podcast, we've spoken a lot about the importance of rappers who are there. Yeah. To still tell stories, the rappers who are there to still bring people intimately close to experience where you feel like to reflect to, to listen to understand my purpose in life. So ultimately, I want, I would hope, and I would love if you could speak to your supporters, the people that have pushed you thus far, have bought the CDs, have supported the singles. Yeah. What is the one message that you would have for them? In fact, I'm not limited to one message, just any message or now for the people because they will be watching. And I'm sure a lot of them have always wanted to see you to on the headspace. To understand yeah. what's in his mind, what's next for the music. So if you could have a couple of words for your people, Labandu, who have been there for you from day one, who feel you are the greatest rapper to them, what's the message? For yeah, you? man. Yeah, I can mention it in a few, man. Sure. But yeah, but. It's all love, man. You know, I love, I, I love supporters. Sure. I love people who support. I have a supporters list, you know, and oh, like sure. I'm posting 300 to, to four now. It's like, gone. Four. four. Yeah. It's gone. Four. So those people that have dedicated themselves, they are going with their pockets into making sure that, um, as, a, as an artist that defies putting my music on the, on, on streaming channels, you know, I, whenever I put out an album, you know, it's easy for them to, to, to accumulate that much sure. that they could compensate, you know. Mm. They are gonna, like, in, on a wider scale, on a wider scale, I appreciate everyone who has actually given his, his, his language, his, his two cents. Um, they are gonna mm. mindful and the economical. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, especially yeah. in these times. Yeah, well, but okay, my hands will, the audience, I would rather support way not than bow. And the fact down. that you know it's about 400 of them, so that means yeah. even when you put out, yeah. you know, something there where they have to physically buy, physically buy, you yeah, because yeah. the database. You have got the database. You push it or or go go partly go to stream and why on iTunes and 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 I'm like, we need to take time to explain your struggle about it. They need to understand. You need to go to the people like even. Yeah, you know uh, our, our, our 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 leaders. Yeah. They come to the people when they need it. Yeah, so we need to practice the same thing. You know, we need to come to as the artists. Yeah, and, 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 
and, and, and, and actually sell the idea. You buy no umzulu and you change up WhatsApp. You know, come through and then the word would spread. Those, yeah, those people yeah. have accumulated. Have actually accumulated WhatsApp. You know, on yeah. Facebook. You're making sure. So I appreciate about the about thing too. Uh, I appreciate them because they they they, they are the ones that they, they are the ones that they given me a vehicle of knowing more. Last in that to a testified clip of what there's no mazi dream this up as you say. I understand. Who men are doing it? It go back was like this. This was bugella when yeah. It's real practical. We we live yeah. the same as our supporters. Our supporters are mm. are working. We are working as well, but the money is dedicated on. Something else, but we make this thing so that it can also actually grow and it's fun. You know, so I appreciate my supporters. Much love. Yeah. yeah. Last but not least, uh, any plug, any, whether it's a number, whether it's a social media link for everybody who wants to know where to find you, but for manager, where to get the music. Stay yeah, there. man. Ah, uh, yeah, who put this discovery? You know, I'm on Facebook, Sizagele, Infulaptism, Kekan, you can get me there. Talk to me, I'm always available, you know. Uh, never miss a message. I never miss anyone who reaches, who reaches out to me when it comes to my heart. Um, WhatsApp is 068-533-6586. 068-533-6586. TikTok, we will have there as well. I'm the only one that that has that name, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's unique. Yeah, it's unique. It's unique. The only one. TikTok, yeah. Facebook, Bambi, Wafaga, Google, Natale, Vele, Le Ket. Yeah. I understand. So, much appreciated from everywhere, all day, every day. It's been beautiful. So, <laughs> You know, it, 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 it comes with its sense from the womb that they, you know, we are not. 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 We are
it has became a, it has become something that that is of negativity because we are even calling our party rape and everything that is happening in and around us as a people. You know, it comes with culture. You know, that has been implanted in our mindsets. And Uncle Uncle was part of his struggle, so don't know. You know, but that is all. Six months ago, we were on the international stage. 